Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having this morning, whether it's coffee, tea, apple juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, whatever you're having, please have with Jesus Christ. Today, I'm having some sour sub leaf tea. Today, you will find me coming to you from the book of Hebrews chapter 11, reading from verse 7 down to verse 8. By faith, nor being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became the heir of the righteousness, which is according to faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go to a place which he would receive as an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. So we see where um, if we were to choose for a topic this morning, it would be what type of legacy are you leaving? We see where Noah left a legacy of righteousness because he moved when God asked him to move and told him to go and build the ark. He moved by faith and Noah's legacy would be the building of the ark and the saving of humanity by the building of the ark. If we look at Father Abraham, we would see where his legacy is that of faith, where he became the father of faith, where he moved when God told Abraham to sacrifice his only son Isaac and to, um, well, his, his, his lawful son Isaac to sacrifice him. He moved by faith to offer him and God um, put a ram in the picket. That was faith. God, Abraham's legacy is faith. When we go down and we look at a person like Job in the Bible, we see where Job was a man that astute God and walked up rightly before God. So Job's legacy was he walked up rightly before God. If we go back and we look at, the, at Solomon, Solomon's legacy was he asked God for wisdom and he operated in wisdom. What type of legacy are you leaving? What type of legacy are your children going to be able to say, this is what my father or my mother did. This was a legacy. This was his, his or her legacy. When we look at, 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 at Joshua, and we see where Joshua said, as for me and my, but Joshua, Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Then we go back and we look at Joshua's legacy. Not only that for him and his house, they will serve the Lord, but we see where Joshua fit the battle of Jericho. And Jericho was his legacy because he moved also in faith and marched around the walls of Jericho seven times until the walls came down because he held true to what God had called him to do. When we look at Moses and we look at Moses' um, um, legacy where he took the children of Israel and they wandered in the wilderness for four 40 years where Moses was able to stretch forth the rod and the path the Red Sea. That was a part of Moses' legacy. What type of legacy are you leaving behind? What are you doing? What type of examples are you setting in your home, in your community, in your family life? What type of legacy are you leaving behind? And God told me to ask the question this morning, what type of legacy are you leaving behind? Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal Father God, we just pray that men and women of God will remember that we have a we have an account to give unto you, O oh God. And Father God, what type of legacy, what are we displaying amongst our friends, our families, our loved ones? What are we displaying in our community, in the communities that you've called us to stand up and to fight for? Father God, what type of legacy are we leaving? Are we leaving a legacy where people will curse the day that we were born? Are we leaving a legacy that people will praise you for the life that we lived amongst men? Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we ask that if any one of our ways have been darkened by the legacy we were leaving. Father God, right now, I ask that your Holy Spirit will clean it up in the name of Jesus. And Father God, for those that have been holding fast to their profession of faith and leaving a good legacy, Father God, may you continue to strengthen them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you. Now, if you like this broadcast, you could go out and you could share it in your WhatsApp group, share it with your friends, share it with your school groups, share it with on your Facebook pages, and you could also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is called Uncle Irv's Morning Sip. That's U R V apostrophe S. Yes. Remember, whatever you're having today, please have it with Jesus Christ. This is your morning sip. Go out and share love and help somebody to know that Jesus Christ is mighty to save. And remember, what type of legacy 
are you leaving behind? God bless you.